the presidential election happens in less than three months, and now is the time to check your voter registration status. And currently there are more than 2.2 million Texans on what's known as the voter suspense list. KXAN's Will Dupree found out that it could cause some headaches when you go to cast your ballot and what you can do to fix it. When the Democratic National Convention kicked off last week, Nico Ramsey wanted to show how his friends could look up their voting information. I was very excited and actually was just using it as a way to encourage my network uh, to get the vote, assuming it was going to be active. What he ended up finding was this, his own registration status listed as suspense, which confused him. It's not that descriptive on what that means. Uh, and it's kind of uh, intimidating in a way to see it's Will I still be able to vote? Did I miss out on something? Texas reports of its nearly 18.3 million registered voters, about 12% are on this suspense list, meaning their counties are unsure if they moved. I think suspense can sound like a scary word and it's not. Actually, the suspense list is a way to protect voters. Alicia Pierce with the Secretary of State's office says this helps remind people to correct their information. They can still vote while on this list, but when they go to the polls, it does mean either having to sign a statement of residence to share their latest address or casting a provisional ballot. Do you think there should be more done to notify people about that? I think that this is a great service that you're doing here, helping to get the word out. And um, remember that the suspense list is actually a measure that protects voters. Voters have until October 7th to update their voter registration info. And Nico Ramsey already submitted a new change of address form so that he can get off the suspense list. Don't assume that your status might always be active. Double check and check often. An important step to make sure your vote counts. Will Dupree, KXAN News. And state law requires counties to remove the names of those either not voting or those who fail to contact them after four years on the suspense status. Governor Abbott announced this week that in the last three years, the state removed more than 463,000 people on the suspense list from the voter rolls. Uh, going in-depth, data from the Secretary of State's office shows Texas currently has nearly 18.3 uh, million registered voters. That is an increase of nearly 8% from the 2020 presidential election when there was a total of 17 million. Now, more than 11 million Texans ended up voting in that election. That's a turnout of about 67%. Donald Trump won Texas in 2020, finishing more than 600,000 votes ahead of Joe Biden.